Hello everyone, my name is Ya Shanxing. I'm a PhD student studying the Polytechnic University of Catalonia. My supervisors are Gina and Roman Costa. Guan Bin is our project partner. Today I'm glad to talk about this paper, which called Adaptive Parameter Estimated Based Observer Design for Nonlinear System. So here is our content. First, I will give the motivation about the observer design. Then I will introduce the proposed ob uh, observer algorithm. And this method will be validated through the Q converter. Uh, so as we know, many observer has been used for nonlinear system, such as the comma filter, hiding observer, and sliding mode observer. The main idea of those observer is trying to find a coordinate transformation in order to force the system nonlinearity into an output injection. Based on those coordinate transformation, the linear uh, observer can be used. However, few works try to use the parameter estimation method to design the observer. So motivation by this fact, uh, to, uh, in this paper, we propose a parameter estimation based observer. Here, let's say the equation one. In the equation one, uh, x1 is unknown state, and the unknown constant uh, parameter theta is in the nonlinearly parameterized function f1. So, to summarize, uh, the objective of this paper is trying to design an observer in order to simultaneously recover the unknown state x1 and to estimate the unknown constant theta. So before we introduce the algorithm, first we assume that uh, we can find a mapping function g, and this g function is only relative to the x1 and x2. And also this function is left invertible such that the x1 could be recovered through the mapping function. And also the derivative of this mapping function, uh, we can find the relation that theta is linearized with the regressor matrix P. Uh, moreover, this P matrix and Q are measurable and bounded. So based on the assumption, the system could be reformulized as the equation four. And you could see in this equation, the only alpha one is unknown parameter. So that means the observer design problem is transformed to the parameter estimation problem. But however, many uh, estimation methods could cannot directly to use uh, because of the function f2. So in order to linearize the function f2, we apply the Taylor expansion around the alpha one hat. Uh, so after reformulation, we could get the equation five. So by, uh, by uh, define uh, def the filter operation and also apply those uh, low pass filter into the equation. After some calculation, we could directly to get the equation seven. And you could see in the equation seven, first, uh, after the filter operation, when we don't need to require the information of the derivative x2. And also here by the threading lemma, we, uh, the equation contains the derivative of alpha one and based on the assumption, so we could add the theta in the equation seven. Uh, after rewriting, we could get the e equation eight. You could see here in the equation eight, many parameter estimation method could apply to it. So before we give the adaptive law, here we're trying to discuss the idea how we design the uh, estimation framework. Uh, and you could see uh, here the first uh, flowchart is a least square algorithm. And this method is trying to get the output estimation error, which is x uh, 
uh, minus the x hat and use this error to derive the adaptive law. Uh, and for the proposed method, we think if we possible through some general calculation and to uh, use some metrics, uh, based on this metrics, we could find the relation which contains only contains the parameter estimation error. So here I should emphasize uh, the parameter estimation error is the alpha minus the alpha hat. So based on this parameter estimation error, we will design the adapt adaptive law. So here is the main difference between our proposed method to the well-known least square method. So through some calculation, uh, define some matrix W and N, and uh, after some uh, calculation, we could get the block equation. Here we will not uh, talk about this in here. Uh, and you could see W matrix and N matrix contains, uh, both contains the alpha tuta. The difference between those uh, matrix and vectors is uh, W is a future version of N, so uh, which introduce the average effect and also can improve the robustness against the noise. So as we know, the adaptive parameter estimation uh, requires the system satisfy the PE condition. So here we propose we could uh, to online to calculate the PE, uh, PE condition is through the eigenvalue of K. Here is when the minimal eigenvalue of K is larger than zero. So we could say the system is satisfy the PE condition. Uh, uh, so after that, we use the matrix WN and could to design the adaptive parameter estimation based observer. And in here, you could say the beta one is a turning co uh, coefficient, which has the function that to find the trade-off between the uh, estimation fast value information uh, and the robustness. So uh, the proposed observer will be validated through this Cook converter. This Cook converter is used to invert the polarity of the voltage. And it's usually used in the DC uh, power supplies. And the model we direct it to take from the site reference. And in this model, uh, I1 and I4 uh, we assume is unknown state. And the unknown parameter we choose is one divided by L1. So here is showing what we choose for the mapping function. And the second is what uh, is validate the, the mapping function is validate the assumption. So by using this mapping function and the proposed method, uh, we could that first we, we use the proposed uh, method to check the PE condition. Here the figure is calculates the minimal uh, eigenvalue of K. And in this picture, you could see the blue line when we're passing through the several filters, the system PE condition is enhanced. And now uh, this three figure is showing the the result of estimated states and the parameter. And you could say the estimation result uh, is converted to the theoretical value. And also, we also compile by introducing the beta one and beta, uh, introducing the beta one. So you could see in the red line, what we introduce the beta one, that means we introduce the instant information. So the, estim the convergency of, of the uh, estimator is more fast. So to summarize, uh, 
this paper we have been proposed uh, alternative adaptive parameter estimation based observer to simultaneously recover the unknown state and estimating estimate the unknown constant parameter simultaneously. Uh, and also this uh, proposed observer is validated uh, through the Cook converter. The future work will plan to extend the proposed method to other applications. Now here, uh, I will thank the IE CSS student travel support program to find me in this CDC conference. Uh, finally, thank you for your attention.